Welcome to LEGO Mindstorm's EB3 Tutorials. Sorry this video wasn't didn't come in on uh Monday. Um now it's Friday, which is probably upsetting for some people, but I have a life outside of this, so yeah. Um well I will be doing the test slash review to test how much you know and if you can get like set like actually 90% of these questions right off the bat then you're good if you um can't get these right off the bat then you need to go and read my tutorials so I will first be um doing the test on the action block then the flow control um since those are the only blocks that we've covered so my very first question is which um, code block of all these moves an individual motor. Now there's two of these. Um, and if you can get that question right off the bat, good for you. It's this is a pretty simple one. Um, now with the move steering, uh, here's my second question. With the move steering, what like what are all these commands like? On for on for de seconds or degrees or on for rotation. What does all that mean? Or what does the speed mean and what does that mean? You get that right off the bat. You got the second question probably correct. Um. Now, uh, what does the move tank do? Um. Again, what does all these do? What does the speed do? And what does this thing? And then what is that up in the corner? Next, what is the display? How do you use it? Remember to check over, I think it's my first or second one for all these. Um, what is the sound? What is that? Uh, what's the volume? Uh, what the, what like, where does the sound come from? Does it come from a motor? Does it come from the actual brick? And then the brick status light, like obviously that's gonna be a simple one. So and then yeah, so that's it. Um I will actually just tell you the answers right now. So for the very first question, the code blocks that move individual code blocks or individual motors <laughs> are these two right here. The move steering um this tells the direction from if you're looking from behind which direction the robot goes at what speed and then for each of these on for seconds how long it turns at that direction um how many degrees how many degrees the motors turn um and on for rotations complete 360 rotations so that's the second question third question smooth steering so it's the same thing it's just on, on for seconds, on for degrees, and on for rotations. The speeds of both of the motors, and they're connected to port B and C. Um, also, uh, B will be connected to that motor, and C will be connected to that motor. Um, and the rotations is exactly how it sounds like, or if you pick on for degrees or any of that. So, next. No. Oh, wait. It's so, here, in order to pick your files, you just go there. There's a bunch of images of angry face. Uh, this would be the very center of the brick. And. Um, whatever was on the screen previously, this means that you cleared. So, that's that. Sound. Um, the sound comes from the brick. Um, you can choose what sounds, just like the display. And the brick status light, obviously, I'm not going to tell you that, that's way too easy. So, if you have gotten through that very first part, of my review then you are doing good so far
you have learned from my tutorials or you have learned from experimenting or other people's tutorials. Which means you're a mediocre programmer. Now, to prove that you are a mediocre um, programmer, if you pass that, we're going to go into the flow control, which is a bit more complicated. So the timer. Wait, so first, um, which one of these right here do you always need to start with? Um, second question, how many different functions, like, what can you use this for? And how do you use that? Then the loop, what does the loop do? And then, yeah, that's it. So, I'll tell you the answers. Uh, the very first uh, answer is this one, because you always got to start with that. The timer, well, you can use a lot of things for it, and it's used for waiting until a certain value is true. Um, you use it by comparing values, or if there's a change in the values, so that's that. And the loop function. The loop just basically does whatever is inside of it repeatedly unless something tells it not to. Which you shouldn't know yet because I haven't explained that. Well, thanks for listening to my review. I'm sorry that this was so late. I apologize again. Tutorials, um, advanced ones will be up next week. Thank you.